Approximately 30 carpenters and craftsmen were held from the likes of Turkey, Egypt, Morocco, Syria, Indonesia and Jordan participated in crafting the mimbar. AXA Week 2022 on CII Radio When Salahuddin al-Ayyubi rahimahullah liberated Beit al-Maqdis, he installed in Masjid al-Aqsa an exquisite mimbar that was built by his predecessor Nuruddin Zanki in Aleppo, Syria. So exquisite was this mimbar and its decorations that the skill of interlocking was used for the assembly of the approximately 6,500 wooden pieces making up the mimbar. No glue, nails, screws or any other fixing material was used at all. The mimbar stood at Masjid al-Aqsa for almost 800 years before it was burned to almost complete ashes by an arson attack on Masjid al-Aqsa in 1969. After this tragedy, the Jordanian government aspired to produce a replica of the original to upkeep this great legacy. After much studying of the specifications of the original, a plan was developed and an agreement was signed with Jordan's al balqa Applied University to assemble the mimbar at its workshops. Craftsmen with appropriate skill sets were chosen from across the Muslim world for the task. Approximately 30 carpenters and craftsmen were held from the likes of Turkey, Egypt, Morocco, Syria, Indonesia and Jordan participated in crafting the mimbar. They utilized the same techniques such as wood carving, interlocking, inlaying and turning that featured in making of the original. The model was then assembled with adjustments made where necessary before it was dismantled, packed in 25 specially made wooden boxes, shipped and installed in Masjid al-Aqsa by the specialist team. The mimbar was finally fitted in its place in February 2007 and the first khutbah on the new pulpit was delivered by Sheikh Ikrama al-Sabr. Aqsa Week 2022 on CII Radio. Al-Aqsa's Untold Stories.